over 750 NHL games, including one that made the Leafs fans remember him for a very long time. That was a series clinching overtime winner versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. And Valky, I just went and watched it again. And uh, no question, goaltender interference. You took Barrasso <laughs> right out of it. And um, yeah, no goal today. I, I pushed my buddy Bobby Dallas right into the goalie. It was, uh, <laughs> you know, I had to free some space up out there. It was, uh, it was one of those series where I, I don't know if I would just remember being so tired. I'm like, oh, we just got to end this thing quick. And I don't know if you've ever been involved in a long overtime, Nick. That was pretty quick. And thank God, because I don't know how much energy we had left to go, like, say, if it was one one overtime period or two. We we're, were all pretty gassed at that time. So it was a perfect ending at the right time to that series, for sure. How much extra pride is there when you're sitting in your stall and everything's calmed down that you're the guy who got the goal? Like, everyone's excited the team moved on, but how much extra pride is there that you're the guy who gets it? Oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I was Wayne Gretzky for a day, day and a half. Man. And I, like, that was me. Like, I mean, I'll, I'll kind of tell you kind of the side note behind it behind. I mean, obviously it's the most biggest goal of my life, probably my best moment or one of them in my life. But Pat Quinn came up to me going out, uh, right before the, right before that OT and he goes, Valky, it's your turn. It's your time. This is why we brought you here, like, for this moment. And our line with Perot and Berzin, we had a really good playoff. So uh, Berzin got the OT goal against Philadelphia, I believe, to knock them out. And then Perot got a goal. So our line got three, the, uh, three of those overtime goals, and it was my turn. And But Pat going up to me, going, just looking me dead ass in the eyes, going, it is your turn. It's your time. Just gave me a, an absolute belief. Pat was great at that. Pat had great instincts, right? And he knew he knew when a player was going or he, he wasn't going. But sure enough, when I got the goal, I love watching the replays of it too, just seeing Pat and Ricky Lee's uh, enjoyment and how happy they were because, I mean, obviously I was happy as well. But, you know, well, I mean, the backstory there too, they cut me the year before and oh. I had nowhere to play, right? You know, so, it, it, it can't get lost on when a guy, when, when a coach says something to you, something to you that, uh, you know, makes you believe or makes or just changes the way that you feel because guys like me and you probably spent the majority of our, of our careers going, Oh God, the coach hates me. Yeah. Yeah. On one year deals, right. To Nick too. Like we're on one year deal, one year deal, one year. Was the coach like me? Where, where am I going next year? What am I doing next year? And a hundred percent. And, and, you know, it, it was pretty funny. Like it was obviously it was in Pittsburgh and um, it was, and I said, I felt like Wayne Gretzky cause I did, I didn't want to take my gear off. I felt like the absolute hero. So sure enough, we go out. It's a Sunday night. I think it was a Sunday. Matt Sundin makes a call, closes some bar down in Toronto. Next thing you know, we're going there to celebrate it right off the charter. And, you know, everything was comped. Everything I felt like waiting in Mario for a day. But, but the highlight was the next day we're going out for breakfast down Young Street. And I'm not lying to you. There was a trap. Young Street shut down. People were chasing me out of their cars wanting their autograph and congratulating me down young street. Like I was just going for breakfast and I'm like, this is the best. Like, I don't, I don't want this to end at all. Yeah. And, I'm sorry. Uh, you're, you're telling me there's people in Toronto now chasing Kerfoot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, I'm not knocking down Kerfoot's goal at all, but that, you know, mine, you know, look, it was a series clincher to get to the <laughs> final four. Okay. And his was on a power play. All right. Mine was even set. Like, what is up with all these power plays in overtime? Like, I, like every game is ending on a power play goal. Like I, I think it's BX going, I don't want to work too much longer or later. Elliot don't end this game. We, we can't handle two or three periods of, anymore of overtime, but I'm pretty well sick of I'm not saying they're not penalties. I'm just saying I'm sick of watching power play goals in overtime. It's uh, 
Five on five is better. It's better. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about that. So how, you know, that Toronto element of it is obviously relevant. You know, how, how different is it if you score that goal for, you know, whoever, Dallas or some other city like that? Like, Kerfoot will probably, he'll, he'll be back in Toronto someday, 20 years from now, I'm sure, celebrating this because it's Toronto and the fans have that long memory. Am I right? Well, it, look, 100%. I, I, they brought me back, I think it was five or six years ago for one of the, I think it was the top 20 moment in all-time history of, of that team. And that team's been around a long time. Yeah. If, it, if that happened in Dallas or Anaheim, I'm sure it would have been forgotten by now. But, you know, I do know if Toronto ever wins the Cup, I'm flying down there. Like, they have to have a spot in the parade for me somewhere. I'll put my <laughs> root hat on. I got to be there. You're but in. you you. You nailed it. I mean, doing it in Toronto is very different than anywhere else. But I mean, and, and doing it for Pat Quinn, for sure. You score that goal today. Like, you're, you're, you're beating off national commercials with a baseball bat. <laughs> but I'm slugging real estate here in North Vancouver. Half my clients don't even know what I do. I'm, I, like, I'll sign autographs and stuff for the other realtors. My clients are looking at me like, you're that good? <laughs> they have no clue I play in the NHL, man. That's Vancouver. Everybody's a hero superstar here. Like, it's like, oh, my God. Like, Vancouver. Like, right. but, yeah, I mean, I got a sticker. I might move to Toronto. Yeah, move back to Young Street, eh? Real estate out there. Let's get her going. <laughs>